Welcome to AmeenAcademy.com in mathematics regarding first order differential equation. Let us do some application problems. Falling body. Consider a velocity of falling body of mass m that is being influenced only by gravity g and an air resistance that is proportional to the velocity of the body. Assume that body both gravity and mass remains constant and for convenience choose the downward direction as the positive direction. Look at this figure. The body of mass m is falling from rest to towards the ground. Here mg is the Newton that is uh, force, gravitational force acting downward and that resistive force kv this proportional to velocity, so we can write kv is upward direction. Newton's second law, we know that Newton's second law of motion, the net force acting on body is equal to the time rate change of the momentum of the body or for constant mass. F is directly proportional to dv by dt, change in velocity with respect to time, so F equal to m dv by dt. We can write this as m equal to f equal to ma. f equal to f equal to ma. That is mass into acceleration that can be written as f equal to m dv by dt where f is a net force on the body and v is the velocity of the body both at time t. Now for the problem in that figure there are two forces acting on the body the force due to gravity given by the weight w of the body which equals mg here mg act downward the second one, the force due to air resistance given by minus kV, because it's downward direction, we are keeping it is negative, where k is greater than zero, that is k is positive, is a constant, constant of proportionality. The minus sign is required because the force opposes the velocity, so we are keeping minus. The gravitational force, downward force is positive, upward force is negative. Here, Therefore, upward or negative direction, the net force F on the body is equal F equal to mg minus kV. This is a force equation, F equal to mg minus kV. Substituting this result, we obtain this here. We have F equal to m dV by dt. From that, we can write F instead of F, we are writing mg minus kV equal to m dV by dt. Now, divide throughout. Uh, that is divided throughout by m. So dv by dt because divided by m here divided by m is uh, divided by m is k over mv and equal to g. That is this equation divided throughout by m. We have this equation as the equation of the motion for the body. It is the equation of the motion body at any time t. If Air resistance is negligible, negligible, that is k equals zero. Suppose if there is no air resistance, uh, substitute k equals zero, that equation becomes dv by dt equal to g. Now, let us do an example problem. We can understand this concept. concept. The body of mass 5 kg is dropped from the height 40 meter with zero velocity, assuming no air resistance. Find an expression for the velocity of the body at any time t. Second one, an expression for, for the position of the body at any time t and the time required to reach the ground. Here, since there is no air resistance, therefore dv by dt equal to g is then equation, differential equation. This differential equation is linear, that is in differential form, it's a variable separable. So its solution is 
V equal to G T plus C. By solving this, V equal to G T plus C. That means we are integrating. Uh, here you can write this as D V equal to G D T. Integrating both sides and solving, we get V equal to G T plus C. Here C is the constant of integration. When T equal to 0, when T equal to 0, then V equal to 0. That means there is no time that is, uh, it's not slotted, that means velocity is 0. Initially, the body is 0 velocity. Hence, 0 equal to G of 0 plus C. Therefore, C also 0. Thus, V equal to G T. V equal to G T is V equal to GT is our uh, solution. Therefore, here G equal 9.8 meter per second square. Then if we substitute this value as G, then V equal to 9.8 GT is the expression for the velocity at any time T. Next, second part. Recall that, uh, look at this, we need for an expression for the position of the body at any time T. Here, Recall that velocity is the time rate of change of displacement x, that is v equal to dx by dt. Here dx by dt is from the expression you are substituting g as 9.8, then you can say dx by dt is 9.8t. This differential equation is also both linear and separable. The solution is x equal, that means integrating further here, dx equal 9.8. 8t dt. Therefore, integrating that we can get x equal 9.8 into t squared by 2 9.8 t squared by 2 we have 9.8 is 4.9 this is we have is 4.9 4.9 t squared plus c1 so substituting t equal to 0 x equal to 0 then c1 equal to 0 and thus the equation becomes 4.9 4.9 t squared means here Look at here, integrating both, we are having x equal 9.8 t squared by 2, which is equal 4.9 t squared. Now, this we got an expression for x equal 4.9 t squared. Then, we have, then put x equal to 40, then we have the result 40 over this 4.9. It is not 19.6, it is 4.9. We have 40 divided by 4.9 which is equal 2.86 time is 2.86 6 seconds from the 40 meter distance the, the body reached the ground at after 2.86 seconds after dropping, we will do one more question. Example, a body weighing 64 lb is dropped from the height of 100 feet with an initial velocity, with an initial velocity of uh, 
100 feet with an initial velocity of 10 feet per second here. 10 feet per second. Assume that the air resistance is proportional to the velocity of the body. If the limiting velocity is known to be 128 feet per second, find an expression for the velocity of the body at any time t, an expression for the position of the body at any time. Previous problem, there is no air resistance. Here, we are considering air resistance, uh, assuming that the air resistance is proportional to the velocity of the body. Therefore, we continue the problem like here, W equal to 64, 64 LB, 64 pound and initial velocity that is, therefore you can say W equal to <coughs> MG W equal to mg <coughs> which is equal 64 from that m equal 64 over 32 g is 32 feet per second square so it is equal to 2 we got 2 ohms will be it is uh, therefore really good to it's not will be this slug it's a mass here given that v initial velocity v1 is 128 feet per second is given it follows that 128 velocity is 128 is equal to 64 that is w 64 over over k because the velocity is the velocity is air resistance is proportional to the velocity Therefore, air resistance increases with the proportionality of the velocity. Therefore, 128 by 128 equal to 64 by k, where k is a constant. From this, we can say k equal 128 by 64 equal to. k equal to 2 and then we have the equation k equal to therefore we can say dv by dt dv by dt plus square of 2 is 4 that is 1 by that is 1 by k equal to 1 by 4 that is plus 1 by 4 v equal 32 plus mass here now the solution of this equation Solution of this equation v v equal c e power c into e power minus p e over four plus one twenty eight. Now this is a velocity expression at t equal zero. Initial condition v equal to 10. At t equal to 0, then v equal to 
Then substituting these values in equation, we have therefore 10 equal. Ten equal minus one one eight. See, we got it. From this uh, above expression, see, we got it minus one one eight e power minus t over four plus one twenty eight. Minus 128. Now, this is the equation in differential form is separable. Therefore, from that, we can solve this. We have look v equal to this. Not here, V, V equal V equal. Then we know that V equal to dx by dt change in distance with respect to time, change in time. Therefore, from that, which is equal dx by dt equal to minus 118 a power minus t over 4 plus 128. Here it is in differential form. From that solving this one is by integrating. Therefore, x equal we have 472. 472 e power minus t by 4 plus 128t plus C1, constant of integration C1. That means we are integrating this e power minus t power t over 4. That is t over 4 is 4 multiplication. That 4 is minus 4. That is multiplied with 118 is 472. Then 128 into t plus C1. Now we put the conditions t equal to 0. equal to 0 we have therefore x equal to 0 if you put t equal to 0 we have x equal to 0 t equal to 0 means there is no distance then substituting t equal to 0 and x equal to 0 we have then from that we can get 0 t equal 472 a power minus t by 4 that is it becomes 0 because t is 0, then plus 128, 0 plus c1, therefore c1 equal minus 472. Then substituting this displacement equation that is x equal 472 t e power minus t over 4 plus 128 t minus 472. This is the equation of distance traveled by the body at any time t. If you solve this quadratic, we can get uh, distance travel with given time. We have done. Please subscribe our YouTube channel.